So how are you doing today, sir? I'm pretty good, man. I'm very, very good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, so I am speaking with Mr. Uh, Byron uh, Canada, and I want you to tell me about yourself and uh, your role with uh, Houston's, uh, Pro Houston Splash is the name. Right. Okay, so a little bit about myself. I'll give a little bit of my background. Um, I uh, have uh, 20 plus years in the uh, in the entertainment industry, particularly film and television. And um, my uh, role uh, with uh, Houston Splash Pride is uh, I was brought on board as a as a social media coordinator. And uh, now I also uh, direct and coordinate uh, the Houston Splash Pride's first annual film festival. Wow, a film festival, and this is the first annual one. And tell us a little bit more about that, and how did uh, that come about to include a film festival along with the other festivities? Well, it was actually a, a natural uh, progression. Uh, from what uh, Splash had uh, been doing uh, for, I'd say, the past uh, three or four years. Uh, the um, part of the event, uh, along with, you know, of course, the, the usual uh, uh, music uh, and entertainment, uh, they uh, started featuring film screenings. Uh, uh, and the one that... Um, people will most likely remember was the most recent one that they had with uh, Patrick Ian Polk. Uh, they uh, screened uh, his uh, last film, The Skinny, here in Houston during Splash Pride. Mm -hmm. and, and what was that like and what sort of feedback did you get from some of the uh, attendees there? Uh, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of positive feedback. People actually uh, wanted more. So uh, in order to give them more, we uh, move, we've ramped it up a bit. Uh, the, the feedback was, hey, why don't, uh, uh, along with all of the other events uh, with Splash, why don't, we, why don't we do more movie stuff? Because uh, that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. So uh, we've uh, taken it from one single day and turned it into a three-day mini film festival. Wow, that is great. And I, I guess, you know, we do need to take a step back and just uh, talk about what is Houston Splash, when did it start, just real briefly uh, for those who don't know, and then just talk about what's going to happen this year. It's going to be different from the previous years. All right. Okay, so uh, in, the, in the beginning, uh, 20 years ago, uh, the uh, the founders uh, Sean and Derek uh, created this uh, singular event uh, in order to find a way to 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 celebrate uh, along with uh, some of their other friends uh, that they knew uh, their um, LGBT pride uh, because you know annually they always have. Uh, pride events going on throughout the U.S. So, uh, with uh, Derek and Sean, they uh, decided, well, hey, we're gonna we're gonna uh, create our own thing uh, that celebrates Black Pride uh, here in Houston, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do something else different. We're also going to celebrate on the beach. So that's uh, become uh, the central uh, event uh, of Houston Splash Pride, which makes it so unique. And along throughout the years, throughout those 20 years, they also added different events along with the, you know, along with the parties and all of the social mixers and all those things. They've also added workshops. They've also added guest lectures. And so um, it's, it's now, uh, again, more of an evolution uh, with Houston Splash Pride, not just a party. And, you know, it, it's, it's a way of celebrating uh, ourselves and uh, featuring things that will help us in our various communities once we leave. Okay, and for those who don't know, Houston Splash does take place this year, May 7th through 11th, uh, 
And that's usually like the first or second weekend of the month of May. In the past, it used to be that Houston's Flash was the first uh, Black Pride event of the summer, but then later some other cities added just before Houston. But So again, for those who uh, don't know, Houston's Flash will take place this year, May 7th through 11th, and that's in uh, Houston, Texas. And so um, what are some of the things that will take place this year that are going to be different than uh, in the past? You know, I, I think you did touch on it a little bit when we talked about the film festival, of course. I, mm -hmm. I need to jump out of my ADD for a minute and pay attention. <laughs> you said, obviously, the film festival, and it's going to be not a one-day event, but more of a three-day event. So, exactly. yes, you did answer that question. And for the sake of time, I'm going to move a little bit forward and just talk about, uh, have you tell me, uh, uh, Byron, tell me. Why was why why do you believe it was just so important to include uh, this type of event along with the other type of events? Why was well, it uh, so important to have a film festival? Okay, well, honestly, Philip, uh, with uh, with our community, because one thing that is that everyone I'm sure can agree on, we are. We're not just a homogenous group of individuals, and we all uh, don't simply like the same thing. We 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 like right. we like to be informed and entertained in various ways. And uh, as I said, uh, with uh, with the previous uh, the, uh, splash event, uh, people you know they say, "Well, I, I like I want more of this, or I I can do without so much of this." And so with um, with the film festival, this is important because uh, we we seek to entertain uh, through film. Uh, because there's there's hardly any time that you get to see images of yourself on screen, other than television. You know, just recently, of course, like with Empire, uh, you 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 get to see yourself on the big screen, and that to me yes, is really really important. Hmm. Why do you say that? I th I think it's really important because a lot of uh, there are there are a lot of issues uh, that we have in in the in the LGBT community uh, that in general uh, may not be specific may be may not be specific to our uh, issues uh, such as youth homelessness. Uh, and uh, transphobia and uh, issues uh, pertaining to race and racism. Uh, these things that are, are more specific to to our uh, community, uh, there are various filmmakers out throughout the U.S. and abroad that have created uh, documentaries and short films and feature-length dramas and even musicals that speak to those issues. Hmm. And so then, um, you know, what comes to mind is, uh, tell us some of the processes you've used to determine what films will be screened and how many films will be screened. Okay. So I guess I need uh, to go back and say how many uh, films will be screened and then what processes did you use to determine which okay. films would be screened? All right. That's, that's a really good question. Okay. So... This year, uh, we we have a total of seven films uh, for three days. Now, that's uh, for Thursday and Friday, we will uh, screen three films per day. And on Saturday, we have our uh, single uh, feature, Houston exclusive premiere feature film. And the process for uh, selecting these films uh, was as I said earlier, is a, is a matter of, of uh, education through entertainment. So the films that were chosen uh, dealt with issues uh, within our community. So as, like I said, youth homelessness, uh, HIV and AIDS, uh, trans, uh, transphobia, and, and things of that nature. So those films that had 
those subjects were the ones that were the most important to us. Okay. And so then, um, will the festival include uh, feature length, or will these be short films, or web series, or all of the above? Um, we uh, didn't have an opportunity to select any web series, but we do have uh, short films and feature length films. Uh, and uh, those those are, are I, I think with uh, seven films in three days that's uh that that's a pretty pretty big schedule okay and have you determined which films and if so what can you tell us what films are going to be screened or is that to be to, to be announced yes um, I, I can, uh, I'll, I'll run down the list very quickly. It, it, like I said, it's just seven films, uh, and uh, they're all great and uh, very, very entertaining and created by some amazing, amazing filmmakers. Uh, the first one that we have is uh, a short film called Vow of Silence, um, and uh, the second uh, film that we have is Burning Cigarettes, uh, these mm -hmm. are uh, these are short films and feature films as well. Uh, we also have a short film called "You're Cute for a Black Guy." This one is really interesting because it's only eight minutes long, but in that eight minutes, incredibly entertaining. Um, we also have a, a musical called "Leave It on the Floor" uh, that uh, was uh, it, it, again. These are award-winning films, and they are really, really amazing. Our last. Uh, film that we are screening on Saturday, as I said, is a, uh, an exclusive Houston premiere. Uh, it's uh, premiering nationwide on April 24th called Blackbird uh, by Patrick Ian Polk. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a film that uh, stars Monique. Okay, now, uh, familiar with all of those films and the filmmakers, as a matter of fact, and for Burning Cigarettes, uh, uh, Tona Brown, I believe, is uh, uh, she's an amazing filmmaker. Yeah. And uh, Blackbird, uh, uh, the gentleman, his name is on the tip of my tongue. It just left my Patrick Ian Polk. Oh, uh, right. he would kill right. me. You just said his name. <laughs> <laughs> Are either one of those filmmakers going to be in the house? Forgive me, Patrick, but yeah, I forgot your name in that ten seconds. <laughs> Yes, uh, for the uh, for the Houston premiere, uh, we uh, we are lucky to have uh, Patrick Ian Polk uh, in attendance, uh, as well as Executive Brown uh, and uh, Tori Walker, who is uh, one of the uh, the actors in the film as well. And we have a uh, special guest uh, that will also be in attendance as well. Any uh, hints on? Can I try to scoop it out of you who that special guest might be and how much is this going to cost or is this going to be a VIP event or is this just going to be um, people at, at your apartment and nobody else is going to be able to come to see no, you? No, 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 no. It will be a ticketed event. Uh, <laughs> it, will be a, it will be a full ticketed uh, Houston premiere event uh, in a real theater, not my living room. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Uh, we will be dropping several hints as to uh, who else uh, will be in attendance. So um, just uh, be on the lookout for that is all I can say. Okay, so that since you and I are talking, you can text me who that person okay. is going to be. And, and okay. I'll know, but, you know, nobody else will. Right, you know, right, right, right. Don't get I'll mad at me if, if you know, I kind of, like, let it slip. Um, oh, okay. he said it's oh, old. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hey, it might help with ticket sales, so you know, whatever, whatever works. You, uh, you are absolutely right, so that's why I don't mind texting you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Right. So now, you know, some people might argue that uh, you know, folks come to Splash or to any Pride event for that matter to party. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. They're there to look at boys, to look at girls, to look at girls and boys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they say it's really not even necessary to try to have a film festival. What do you say to people who's, who make statements like that 
or what do you have to say about that statement? No, I, honestly, I would not argue against that statement because if that's what a person uh, has come to do, then by all means, we have those things available for you. As I said, no, right. uh, Houston, Houston Flash has, uh, has evolved and grown into something for everyone. And that's the really that's that's what I'm so excited about because it's it, it's it's not just about you know the clubs and the parties even though I will definitely be right in the middle of all of that it is <laughs> so much more uh, we we have things uh, informational workshops for individuals uh, 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 for for your whole being your your whole body to to entertain you and to inform you and that's. That's what we. That's what we aim to do. Year by year, we aim to entertain and inform. Mm hmm The lately, I have been seeing. I have seen uh, flyers here and there for uh, for the splash events, and now I see events that were for uh, the ladies only. And here and there, I know the big boys are now getting in every other city with their big boy pride events, and yeah. and then there are the guys who are five foot four who have green hair and um, Vogue only on Tuesday afternoons for a full ball, not a mini ball. You know, they have their events too, and you know it's kind of hard if you know I can say from. Uh, being on the inside here, working with uh, the Chicago Pride Committee and, at one point and listening to some of the things that they had to uh, or being privy to some of the things that they go through when groups say that, you know, there's nothing there for us. And then you'll right. invite them to the table right. and they're not there. Right. Or what they really wanted you to do was party. You know, and there's plenty of parties already. So, you know, my hat's off to you guys for uh, this endeavor for uh, putting together a film festival. Um, and I wish you luck there um, with that. Um, so, you know what? If I were a filmmaker, you've already mentioned that you had seven films over mm -hmm. three days. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I just put the finishing touches on my film. And... I just hope and pray that I can send it to you or to somebody and possibly have it screen at, at its flash. What should I do if I were a filmmaker and I was trying to sort of do something like that? Or is it just too late now to uh, for you to even consider adding one more film? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, it, it's never too late. I'm so glad that you asked that question because – uh, even after Splash, it, even if uh, your film doesn't make it onto the Splash Film Festival schedule, we still have a monthly, uh, and this will uh, uh, this will be the first uh, beginning uh, in June. Uh, we have a film screening event, uh, a monthly film screening event. So there is always opportunity for filmmakers out there uh, to to get an audience, to get an audience viewing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and like I said, in my background, it's like the one thing that you want people to do is to see your work and to and for someone to, to love it and for somebody to get that message. Whatever, whatever you're trying to put out, there's one person out there that's going to say, ooh, I like that. Right. So and, uh, and the only thing. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we would ask them to do is, uh, yeah, uh, they can either contact us through the website, uh, www.houstonsplash.com, um, or uh, they can uh, contact uh, contact us through you. Okay. And, you know, you hit on something that is always very important when it comes to uh, whether you are a writer a, a filmmaker or an artist in general. It's that one thing and that one message and that one person you're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, what is the one thing that you want people to take away from this festival this year? Uh, for this year, our theme is live, love, 
and celebrate out loud. And with those three, with those four words, live, love, celebrate out loud, we, we want people, all of our people, with, whatever your decision is uh, with regard to how you live, love, and celebrate out loud, do it knowing full well who you are and love yourself for that fact. All right. That's a uh, very, that's a wonderful message uh, that could apply to uh, any piece uh, or any part of someone's life. So that is a Absolutely. very inspirational and positive message uh, for, for people to take away. Right. Now, you know what? I know that we uh, scheduled uh, a good 20 to 30 minutes to talk, and I want to make sure that I gave you every opportunity to, to tell me anything and everything about this uh, festival. Right. And any that and if you know if I need to have a phone number to to uh, to call or you know if you could tell me your other name on 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 Facebook or Twitter or or whatever site and stuff like that. You know what is it? What is that? What else would you like to share? Uh, we are, of course, uh, like I said, uh, we're all over social media. So uh, just uh, look us up on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram under Houston Splash Pride. Uh, and uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, check us out on Instagram. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're doing a lot uh, on Instagram, uh, and uh, we, we, love, uh, we love sharing uh, everything about ourselves with everything about everyone uh, throughout the U.S. and worldwide. All right. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I do want to thank you uh, for your time this evening, Byron, um, and for making yourself available, which was partly in the short notice, uh, <laughs> just to tell me about the film festival. That's okay. We, hey, any opportunity we get to talk about the festival and to get the word out there, we deeply appreciate it. And I appreciate having a conversation with you this evening. And, again, just in case somebody heard, but, you know, we're trying to listen and write at the same time, where should they go to find out more information? For more information, all they have to do is go to our website. Uh, or if, if they want to go to the social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, it's Houston Splash Pride. Or you can go on our website, www.houstonsplash.com. And what dates, once again, will Splash take place? Uh, the event is from May 7th through the 11th, and the film festival is from May 7th through May 9th. All right, all right. So everybody out there, get out there and uh, go to HoustonSplash.com. Right. Send Byron an email, send Derek Miles emails, send yep. Sean Dawson emails, text messages, oh, yeah. phone calls, smoke signals yep. to we find out really more. The love. Yeah. All right. And on that note, I want to thank you again for your time this evening and um, have a great rest of your uh, Sunday evening. All right. All right, Philip. I appreciate that. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll be texting you that information shortly. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, man. Good night.